Mantle cell lymphoma is a type of cancer that affects the blood. If you or someone you love has mantle cell lymphoma, learning more about this disease can help you manage its symptoms and get the best treatment. Mantle cell lymphoma, which is often called MCL, is a form of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. These cancers occur in white blood cells, which normally protect the body against infection. There are about 70 types of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. MCL is a recent addition to the list. This cancer was recognized as a form of non-Hodgkin lymphoma by the World Health Organization in 1992. MCL accounts for about 6% of all non-Hodgkin lymphoma cases. According to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, about 4,200 people will be diagnosed with MCL in the United States this year. That makes MCL a fairly rare disease. Think of it this way. In a city with a population of 200,000 people, only about one is likely to have MCL. No one knows what causes MCL, but scientists have learned that it usually occurs when a gene undergoes a change or mutation in a white blood cell known as a B lymphocyte or B cell. As a result, these B cells make too much of a certain protein which causes them to grow out of control and eventually causes lymphoma. There are two basic forms of MCL. The most common form is called classical MCL or sometimes nodal MCL, which accounts for at least three quarters of cases. Classical MCL affects the lymph nodes and other tissues and tends to be the more aggressive form. The other major form of this cancer is called leukemic, non-nodal MCL, which usually affects the bone marrow, blood, and the spleen. This form of MCL tends to be less aggressive and some patients may be able to delay receiving treatment. Instead, they can be monitored by their doctors, a strategy called watchful waiting. However, patients with leukemic non-nodal MCL can transition to the more aggressive form of this cancer and require treatment. The risk for MCL rises as you grow older. The median age of people who are diagnosed with this blood cancer is 68, MCL is more common in males who make up three quarters of cases. This cancer is diagnosed twice as often in white people. Having a close relative who had blood cancer also doubles your risk for MCL. In its early stages, MCL often doesn't cause symptoms. Patients feel fine. But over time, they usually develop what doctors sometimes call B symptoms which is a distinct pattern of changes that are commonly experienced by people with MCL and other B-cell lymphomas. They include severe night sweats, persistent fever that doesn't respond to treatment, and significant unexplained weight loss. Patients with MCL may also develop other symptoms, which can include lack of energy, swelling in the neck, armpits, or groin, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, easy bruising or bleeding, gastrointestinal symptoms such as heartburn, pain, bloating, or a sense of fullness, and lower back pain or pressure, which may radiate down one or both legs. Many forms of cancer therapy are used to treat MCL. They include chemotherapy, which is the use of drugs to destroy cancer cells, Immunotherapy, which stimulates the body's immune system and makes it better able to find and kill cancer cells. Immunotherapy is often paired with chemotherapy, a combination known as chemoimmunotherapy. Another option for some patients with MCL and other cancers of the blood is a stem cell transplant. In a stem cell transplant, a patient's cancerous blood cells are destroyed with chemotherapy, then replaced with healthy stem cells 
which can grow into new blood cells. Many patients with MCL are candidates for treatments known as targeted therapies. These medications take aim at specific proteins and other molecules that promote cancer, which means they may cause fewer side effects than chemotherapy. Finally, patients with MCL should ask their doctors about enrolling in a clinical trial. Clinical trials give patients access to new therapies months and even years before they're available to other patients. These advanced treatments can be life-changing and some may even offer a cure. There are currently about 130 clinical trials of MCL treatments underway or getting started around the world. Give yourself the gift of hope by learning about all of your MCL treatment options.